A new book features in-depth interviews with NFL superstar and Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers. James Brown spoke with the author to discuss the new book that examines Rodgers' career and his personal life. The name of the book is Out of the Darkness, The Mystery of Aaron Rodgers by one Ian O'Connor. What was of interest to you? He was mysterious. He was intriguing. And there was a distance about him. And those are usually the subjects that I'm drawn to. He wanted to change the narrative arc of his career, going from the smallest market to the biggest market in the league. People said, well, why the Jets? They haven't been to the Super Bowl since January of 1969, but it's a great opportunity for him. Winning a championship in New York, if he can pull it off, and it's going to be a very difficult task, would dramatically enhance his historical standing in the sport. And I think that would be the biggest New York sports story of my lifetime. Did he give you the okay to do this book? It's unauthorized. And I interviewed 250 people and actually handed in the manuscript without him. And all of a sudden, a couple of weeks after I handed in my book, I got a message from the Jets that Aaron is now willing to see you. And we sat in his backyard. We talked about some sensitive issues. He's estranged from his family for now 10 years. He had some interesting things to say about his controversial COVID stance and made a concession and admission of fault that surprised me. Take us through that. What were his thoughts after the fact? I did say to him, why didn't you tell the truth that day? You were asked if you were vaccinated. And he effectively said, yeah, I should have done that. He feels like he gave critics the one thing they really still have on him today. That was such a major public relations hit for him to absorb. And I don't think, JB, he's recovered from that. He went from being considered one of the good guys in the NFL a guy who supported Colin Kaepernick. There was a case where a fan yelled out an anti-Muslim slur during the national anthem after the terrorist attacks in Paris, and he rebuked the fan publicly, and President Obama sent him a letter thanking him for doing that. So Aaron used to get praised for being on the right side of social issues, and then all of a sudden he became a bad guy. But I, I do think that good guy is still there. And so I think this book, by talking to his friends and associates who have witnessed his acts of kindness and generosity behind the scenes that he doesn't publicize, I think gives a balanced portrait of who he is as an athlete and, and as a man. He is arrogant at times, and most of the greats I've covered have that competitive arrogance, and maybe you need it to be an all-time great. He deserves a lot of credit as a self-made superstar. Nobody ever handed him anything. And he made it happen through the singular force of his will, his work ethic, and his talent. And that should be a big part of his legacy as well. And be sure to tune into Jets Late Night tonight. Steve Overmeyer will preview the Jets 49ers Monday night matchup. And Otis Livingston goes one-on-one -on -one with the players. That's tonight after CBS News New York at 11.